morning. Welcome back to First Talk with Hal Rowe on 1290 WHKY Talk Radio. For the Greater Hickory Metro phone line still open. We have less than five minutes left. 327 WHKY, 327-9459. Joe Brannett joins us this morning. Supporter of the petition that is being circulated by the citizens for equity in government uh, to uh, change the election of city council members from a ward system to, uh, excuse me, from a general election to a ward system. Billy Suddeth joins us this morning as well. Uh, he is a facilitator for the meetings for citizens for equity in government. Mr. Brandt, before we went to the break, uh, you had a comment that you wanted to finish. Right. Uh, in 1967, Councilman uh, Hickory City Councilman Abey uh, noted in his opposition to the changing to the at-large system, he said, you know, he, and he was quoted in the Hickory Daily Record, uh, March 6, 1967, I don't see what business I have voting for aldermen from other wards, and I don't see why people from other wards should vote for an alderman from my ward. And it's one of those things where some people in the city have, have made the argument that, well, I represent the entire city, so I should be voted for, or voted on by the entire city. And that's not the case. We don't see that at the national level. Uh, you know, we vote for Congressman McHenry. Or, you know, we participate in that election. We don't vote for Congressman Jones. We don't vote for Congressman Shuler or Congresswoman Myrick. We don't live in their districts. They do not represent us. They represent the state, but they represent a portion of the state, and they do a good job doing it. Uh, and it's the same thing at the state level. Uh, you know, Hickory has a, a, a state representative uh, that's not voted on by the people of Lenore or Morganton or Newton or Statesville. So, there, you know, to say that you can't represent somebody if you're not elected by that person uh, is, is somewhat bogus. And I, I think, you know, you can still represent the city of Hickory and represent the city of Hickory well, but be, re- but be elected by that ward and be held accountable to the people of that ward. One of the things, uh, let me ask you this, because the main purpose of, of this this morning, you're going to have people who are going to say, I don't like the ward system for whatever reason. Yep. Uh, I like the general election uh, system for this reason. There are going to be people who will disagree with what you're talking about this morning. Yeah. Uh, all, you're willing, well, all you're really wanting to do is to get the election, uh, get the referendum on the uh, on the election, so that that vigorous conversation and that exchange can begin with it on the uh, with it on the ballot. You're, right. you're, that's what you want. Is right now you're looking for this to get on the ballot. You want people to to sign the petition to get it on the ballot, and then let the discussion begin. That's it. And I would say even if if you are for the at large system. Uh, and and totally against the ward system. Sign the petition anyway. Yeah. And, and then get out there and, 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 and campaign and, for the general for right, the general and, election. And once the petition is certified and a, a special election is called for, we'll have a passionate, vigorous campaign for the ward system. We'll have an equally passionate campaign for the at-large system, and we'll go at it. The people will vote. At the end of the day, a decision will be made. Democracy wins yeah, and people win. That's key. It's a fair fight. It's called that dialogue. Is called democracy at the local level. The word that he just used, and that's all we after. We have a fair process. But we've got less than three minutes left. If you would pop on these headphones, here you go, Mr. Suddeth, right, right here, or yours, and you can see yours there, Mr. Brannock. If you just pop those in, we got a caller on the line. And I'm pretty sure I know this, Harry. Good morning, Harry. How are you? Hello, Hal. Doing well. Glad to hear from you. Good. Uh, can you hear there, Mr. Suddeth? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Joe, okay. Uh, I think you wanted to know where we can sign the petition. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, so if we're interested in this, uh, if you, could, you guys could let us know how we could get a copy of the petition and uh, how to go about signing it. Well, if you could give me a call at 828-308-4669, I'll get the petition to you. One more time on that, please, if you would. 828-308-4669. Very good. Okay. I'll, I'll throw my number out there, too. 828-455-3789. One more time. 455-3789. Okay. I'm going to make sure that we have the, both of these numbers jotted down before you gentlemen leave sure. to make sure that uh, if anybody wants any more information from you, we can get that from you. Harry, is that it? That's it, Hal, and I do appreciate you. Take care, man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 327 WHKY, 327 I do find, i got to tell you this, uh, you know, and, and I try to keep my opinion out of all this. That's one of the things. I try to be a host, and I try to kick back and let, let people express their opinion. But I, I do find this interesting. I do find it interesting because 
when you talk about diversity and when you talk about differences in individuals, you brought it up, Mr. Brannick. We've got a young, <laughs> white, conservative Republican. Uh, and Mr. Suth, I'm not going to say old. Uh, I suppose we say older. Experience. M- more mature. Mature. How about mature? Yeah. Uh, a mature uh, black man who is a progressive Democrat. And they, and they both sat here in the studio this morning, and they're on the same side uh, of this issue. And they want people to understand that they have come together on this issue. And that's one of the things that I uh, – That's and as far as opinion goes, I won't offer anything else. Other than get, great to have both of you in this morning. How about that? It's good to do, be do, here. Do, 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 do we get a good job for you? We got everything out that you needed to get out, everything we want to talk about. Mr. Thank you. Uh, I think this is the process at work. You know, this is the process at work. Mr. Sutter, thank you very much, Mr. Brennick. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and close today with our national anthem. Thanks so much for joining us on First Talk. We know you have a choice in morning radio. That's why we appreciate you choosing the First Talk radio program. Hope you'll join us tomorrow morning. Uh, it's Entertainment Friday. Joe and Eric will be here with the WHKY Weekly Movie Review and Entertainment Update. So we hope you'll join us for that. Have some tickets maybe to a local cinema. And, oh, they're digging up all kinds of good stuff. Who knows what we may have tomorrow morning uh, for Joe Barry Trivia. Hope you'll join us then. Be grateful for what you got. Make it a great day. We'll talk tomorrow on First Talk with Hal Rowe here on 1290 WHKY. Talk radio for the Greater Hickory Metro and streaming live at WHKY.com.